Welcome from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2018 New York Giants training camp with defensive tackle Christian Sokoli. Appreciate you taking time. Thanks for having me, man. Well, the last time I saw you live was about yeah. three years ago at the UMass game. You were playing for Buffalo, and I came away impressed with how good you were up front along the line of scrimmage. Then I find out you're playing offense in the NFL. Yeah. But mm -hmm. talk about your... Uh, experience as far as playing on the other side of the ball and what uniqueness did playing one kind of help with the other and vice versa? Yeah, uh, it was definitely a transition, man, for sure, you know. Uh, I tried to move over to offensive line and tried it for a while, actually. This is my fourth training camp in the NFL, and even though I've bounced around a little bit, I've spent three training camps all playing offensive line, so <laughs> it is busy. I, I tried it, but uh, it, it was tough, man. You know, I, I did some things very well. But then some things not so well, you know, and just wasn't consistent enough. But I just think I'm way more wired to be a defensive lineman. So I'm excited for this training camp. I'm excited to show what I can do at the defensive end, kind of like what I did that UMass game. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah, I remember that yeah. because it was it was uh, it was impressive because I know UMass was trying to like run downhill, but they yep. tried to double team you. Yeah, they couldn't yep. do that. You split no yep. teams. You're throwing off the whole block in assignments. Thank you. And yeah. So you use your hands real well. Thank you. Do yeah. you think that kind of helps you more as a defense type, or explain how having yeah. technique kind of helps you do whatever you want? No, it definitely doesn't. Hands is everything, obviously. And in this defense, get off is big, too, because we want to be aggressive and we want to attack. But hands let you, let you control the guy in front of you, you know. And, and, and that offensive line, speaking of that, you know, hands are definitely important, but it's just it's just different, you know. It's a different way to use your hands and a di di different different way to go about it, you know. But uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm excited to be a defensive line for sure. And this defense, like you said, it's an attack defense, and it's a very versatile defense. Do you see yourself playing multiple roles up front within this front? Yeah, absolutely. I think I could play three nose or five, and honestly, you know, the coaches will tell you there's not much difference between all of them, you know, if you're a shade. You got to knock back the center and play your gap. I mean, if you're a five, you do the same thing to the offensive tackle, you know, or four eye. You know? mm -hmm. And when you talk about an offensive lineman perspective, playing in this, playing against this defense, a three-four defense. I know from a running back yeah. perspective, I hated not knowing yeah, where the fourth you. and fifth guy was coming from. Yeah. For you, uh, let's say for an offensive lineman, what challenges does that pose for them? Yeah, it does. It, it definitely poses challenges. Now you're, you're making me think back to being <laughs> offensive line. I actually I played a little center too, so um, it's not not as traditional. You know, you, you know, you, when you have a four-down defense. Defense, you're like, okay, well, here's my mic, so we're sliding left. There's the mic sliding to the mic, and but then with three down, it can get a little more confusing with the linebackers moving around and stuff. And uh, another challenge for sure is um, sometimes you know the, the nose, and especially if you have a, a zero nose and a bare defense, you know, mm -hmm. then you got to think how are you how are you going to work to the you know the second level and how are you going to you know make those double teams fit and all that. Yep. Yep. A lot of that you don't have to worry about now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I almost tried to remember, but I don't want to. I was like, out of That's mind. funny. When you look at yeah. uh, your career now, what mm -hmm. part of your game do you feel as though it's still being underrated, and where do you feel as though you still have room to grow? Um. Well, I'm not going to go out and say underrated, honestly, because I, I really haven't had the chance really to go out there and show people what I can do yet. So I'm, I'm just excited to get out here and show guys what I can do in training camp. You know, I think I have an explosive guy and I got power, and I'm excited to show that, you know. And I'm, I'm sure the places that I can continue to grow is, you know, things that come with a little more playing time and, you know, technique and things like that. And playing with good leverage, you know, but I think I'm an explosive and, you know, powerful guy. And, just looking forward to go out there and show that. Well, you got a game coming up, man. You've been doing some great yes. things out here at camp. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man.